to this python programming course in this session we are going to study the python data types so your computer is based or performs the operation based on the data so computer is a data processing device where it stores the data in its memory and processes at as per the instructions given to it data is a representation of facts about certain object so for example if you consider the object as an as a car so car has a different features different uh, attributes like his model number model name color of car what kind of engine it is there for the car case okay. likewise different attributes are related to any object so those attributes are nothing but the data so data type is defined as it is a repres it represents a kind of value that is going to store in a variable and it also determines what kind of operation we can perform on it so it defines the what kind of value we are going to store and the operations we can perform on the data type so the python data types are used to define the type of variable type of variable means what kind of value we are going to store in a variable so the the data stored in a memory can be of many types for example a person's age is stored in numeric value and his address is stored as alphanumeric characters so depending on the attribute type we can have different data types in the python in most of the programming language depending on the data we have different uh, data type we have different data types so these are the data types available in python first is the numeric data type which holds the numeric values so there are three types of numeric data types first is integer which stores whole numbers second one is float which stores the real numbers with decimal point and third one is the complex number second data type is a string string holds the sequence of characters and str is used as a to define the strings then sequence is the third data type where we have where which holds the collection of items multiple different types of values we can store in it so list and tuple are the sequence data types next one is the mapping data type where the dictionary is the mapping data type which holds the data in key value pair form next data type is boolean which holds the value either true or false uh, which is defined by bool data type and set is last data type in the python which holds the collection of items but those items should be unique so set and frozen set are the set data type so first we'll see numeric data type in a numeric data type as we have seen three kinds of uh, numeric data types are there integer floating point number and complex number so first is integer data type integer numeric data type which holds the only integer values only numbers without decimal point and there is no limit on the size of integers that we are going to store in a variable so if you have studied the c programming language or c++ java programming language where we have in in for integer data type it is again segregated as short integer integer long integer long long integer so that is depends on what size of integer variable we are going to store into that uh, data type but there is no such kind in the python data type where uh, using just integer data type we can store any size data on in a variable so this is the example where var1 equals to 1 means 1 is a integer value that we are going to store in a var1 variable similarly the this is uh, the var1 equals to 1 is the 
uh, example of decimal integers we can have non decimal integers also uh, decimal is the uh, values where we have base as a 10 where we can have 0 to 9 total 10 digits are there to represent a number we similarly we have other non decimal integers are there which includes binary numbers octal numbers and hexadecimal numbers so binary means 2 so the base for binary integer is 2 so which holds only two values either 0 or 1 then octal has the base 8 which has the com digits ranges from 0 to 7 so octal numbers are the combination of 0 to 7 digits and last one is hexadecimal numbers the hexadecimal numbers the base is 16 which holds the values of from 0 to 16 0 to uh, 9 digits and a to f that is characters the hexadecimal digits can hold so binary if you want to represent binary number in a python that binary binary number should proceed with either 0 b small b or 0 capital b then using which you can represent a binary number similarly octal number is preceded with 0 small o or 0 capital o and hexadecimal number is preceded with 0 small x or 0 capital x so we'll see the example based on it to open the python shell you type the search for the python you will see this particular option that is python which version you have installed you will see the command prompt for it just click on it and open the shell now i will take one variable as a i will assign numeric value to it 10 so if i if i want to print it it will show me the 10 value it includes same way i can have any number so this is a python shell it is an interactive shell whatever the value we are going to provide it it will give you, give us the output it is a python interpreter and uh, for binary and hexadecimal number so it should proceed with 0 b i know that the binary of 5 is 101 so 0 b 0 1 0 1 so it will give me the answer as decimal digit as 5 okay if i want to get the binary of 5 i'll provide the variable as 5 so it will give me the same value that is 0 b 1 0 1 so bin is the function which will give me the binary of any number so this is a binary number system that number should proceed with either 0 small b or 0 capital b next we have octal number system that should proceed with 0 small o or capital o here i'll give the value as 0 1 2 which is a uh, decimal uh, of oct sorry octal of 10 so we'll get the value as 10 10 is the decimal for 0 1 2 octal number then next example for hexadecimal number for hexadecimal number you can use either small x or capital x so 0 x i'll use here f i know that f is the hexadecimal of 15 so i'll i'll get the answer as 15 so in this way you can represent the integer data type simple integers and uh, non decimal integers next data type is floating point numbers so floating point numbers are used to represent real numbers and holds the floating decimal points it is represented by float uh, data type the float class is there to represent the floating point numbers then the decimal points we have are up to 15 decimals so it the result is accurate up to 15 decimals to specify the scientific notation we can use either small e or capital e is added at the end of float number so 
this small e and capital E can be used for it. So, we will see the example. So, to represent the floating point number, I will take another variable as 23.467. So, if I print the P, I will get the same result as 23.4567. I can represent this same number using scientific notation 4567. Either I can use small e or capital E. I want up to three digits. So, I will get this as e raised to e, e 3 means 10 raised to 3 it get multiplied by 10 raised to 3 or if I provide same value with negative index. So, I will get this result. So, either you can use small e or capital E to represent it in scientific notations you will get the same result. So, this is the floating point number. Then next data type is a complex number. We can have a complex numbers in the python. So, there are two types, uh, two uh, attributes in a complex number. First is a real part and second is the imaginary part and that is separated by using plus or minus sign. The imaginary part is suffixed by j which is an imaginary number. Complex number in python is represented as x plus yj where x is a real part and y is the imaginary part and the uh, it is represented by complex data type. So, the type of that number is a complex and the class which is used to represent it is a complex. So, in this example we have var 4 equals to 10 plus 3j. So, 10 plus 3j is a complex number in which 10 is a real part and 3 is an imaginary part. So, we can represent that in python. So, plus j. So, this is a complex number in python. So, as we have seen that when we have studied the features of python programming language that python is a dynamically typed programming language where it the data type of the variable is defined and by what kind of value you have assigned to it. So, when we are declaring any kind of variable in python we are not specifying it with the data type. So, here just these examples we have seen where the values are represented as a equals to 10 means we have not specified like in C programming we are writing the same variable as integer int a equals to 10. Likewise, we are representing it. We are not preceded with our variable name with the data type. So, now how you can get the data type in Python? What kind of value is there in variable a? So, you can get that value by using a type function. So, we have one type function in python. Suppose, I want to get the data type of variable a. I will just write one function. I will call one function type and I will provide the variable name of it. So, I will get the which is the or what is the data type of variable a. So, here I will get that class int means the data type of variable a is int. Suppose, I will assign x equals to minus 8j. So, this is a complex number. So, if I want to get the data type of it, type of x, here I will get the type of x as complex. So, in this way you can get the data type of any variable. So, this is the numeric data types integer, float and complex number. 